That's right, we're back. Welcome back, guys. Things are working. I'm AJ Twist. I'm T. And, and this, this is episode 240 of, of Unfocused Unfocus Podcast. This is the Magby episode, and, and Magby is, get this, the live coal Pokemon. Oh, wow, okay, getting That's creative over here. That's fucking creative. Oh, like... why do I have an elect kid here? Oh, Ooh. I didn't change it. It's all good. Oh, well, you know what You we guys said. know who Magby is. I, I made it, too. I know it. Oh, I just didn't change it. I thought I changed it. Anyways. Don't forget, we're live on twitch.tv slash collision28. Uh, you can also find us on youtube.com slash Podcast, where you can review the episode afterwards. Like, That's comment, right. subscribe, right? And all that? For sure. All right. So, uh, in Focus Weeks, right? Yes, sir. You want to kick it off? Um, or should I kick it off? No, nah, I guess I can kick it off. Uh, if you're watching here, the live stream here on twitch.tv slash closing28, uh, where we do our live closing28 production podcast here, um, you might have seen me play some Pokemon. Um, I just made it to the second gym, to the water gym. And I just did the whole gym thing right now. Um, but I played that pretty much uh, last week. Um, that's pretty much all I really played, I guess. Not really, but uh, I mean, as far as like how much Pokemon I played, it's about all I played is up to the second gym. Um, compared to like last time I was on the show two weeks ago, which is like I just started the game. Um, so a lot of people already finished the game and shit. So I'm like really behind. Uh, I just haven't had that much time, but I'm enjoying it though. Um, it's I mean it's it's pretty fun. Um, I, I went into that wild area. Remember how I was talking about this new wild area they're talking about? Yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. Like when you're in the wild area, actually the whole game, you can see the Pokemon. Uh, around so you know when you walk in the grass previously in pokemon games you know you randomly get attacked yeah you don't even know what's happening yeah, yeah. you don't even know what's happening yeah this time you can actually see the pokemon ro- roaming around mostly usually uh, once in a while you, you'll get an alert that something sees you and might attack you and then you don't know what it's going to be and then you'll all of a sudden you're in battle so like you know the classic way will happen sometimes but you'll be alerted other than that if you see a pokemon and you want to go get it you can run after it and, and go encounter it and then you know you do your whole battle and all that um, you can also, um, sometimes they'll run from you though, too. That's the other thing. So if you do see a Pokemon, you might want to try to walk slowly at it too. So you don't disturb it. Um, sometimes they'll run at you, which is fucking scary as fuck. Oh, that sounds scary. And they start chasing you. I never you thought stuff. about that before in Pokemon. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. And sometimes a Pokemon you don't want to encounter. You're like, no, I don't want to get encountered by you. So you start running the other way. Um, as far as I've seen so far, nothing can run faster than, than, than yourself, which is cool. Okay, so you can um, possibly get away from anybody. Yeah, so so far I've been able to get away from anything that's chased me before. But sometimes you're like, you know, walking through a route and you're trying to go through the grass. Like, I don't want to encounter something. So you're trying to dodge all these Pokemon. And if something's chasing you, you're like, oh, shit, so you start running. <laughs> and then you, like, run into a Pokemon that's in front of you. like, fuck, or you get cornered in somehow. That's happened to me a few times. So, like, even though you can see the Pokemon, you can still get the encounters, even though you don't want them. Uh, which, you know, is pretty dope. Um, and in the wild area, too, like, there's... Uh, the the weather the weather changes in certain areas which is cool and that changes the types of Pokemon in that area sometimes too so I was trying to manipulate that I want to get a Swinub and there's a way to get a Swinub in the wild area at a certain location only if it's snowing there though and um, I haven't seen that spot snowing yet so I haven't been able to get a Swinub yet uh, I know there's ways to manipulate the weather too if you have a Pokemon with like you know one of those weather you know attacks that you know hail or or rain or sunny day stuff like that. Uh, so if I ever get a Pokemon that has hell and I got to go over there and do that and then hopefully I'll see my swine ups. Um, what else has gone on? Uh, the whole, you know how you collect berries and shit like that in the games? Yeah. Um, and now you have this, uh, curry thing. Remember the poffins? Yeah. What, what else was there? There was some other, There's uh, poffins and there's uh, some other thing that you Yeah. Got. Later on you did something else where you had to like, uh, so, like stir something um well that, that's bad blocks actually, it was some kind of blocks or something or no, no, no. oh no actually know what i'm thinking of i'm thinking of um no yeah it was poffins poffins you had to stir stuff right you had the yeah. touch screen and stuff right yeah but there was something else like poffins that came after yeah that. It was, I, I know what you're talking about it, it was the blocks and, and that was on like ruby and sapphire right it was right. on the original game boy advance okay. on the game boy advance yeah but yeah uh, poffins you had to actually stir the screen right the touch screen so that, that's kind of back except now you're making curry um, so that's kind of fun and you can use different berries in it and depending on which berries you use you get a different type of curry and that can boost up some stats uh, remember how the blocks you know you have blue blocks to boost up like um, I don't know like special defense or something like that also yeah. or it boosts up like beauty or something like that like it has like that type of effect okay. with the curry um, and then you have this whole camping thing too so if you want to make curry you gotta camp and once you camp your Pokemons will heal and then you can play and interact with your Pokemon too which that's is cool. pretty fun. A lot of positive reinforcement to include the camping aspect. I like that. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So if you're like in the middle, if you're in the wild area where there's no Pokemon centers and you want to heal real quick, yeah, you could just make camp 
and you know, play with the Pokemon for a bit, make some curry, and then you won't get full bars with everybody, but you'll get full bars with like some of them. So that's been pretty cool. I haven't messed with around with it too much yet, other than that. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty cool game. It's pretty so far. It's been pretty straightforward so far, um, but I've been liking it. One thing though, like uh, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. I, I had something I was gonna say that I was gonna complain about. Some oh sense. yeah, so one thing I'm kind of like really about is like it's a home console now, right? It's on the Switch. The Switch is a big console, right? And on home consoles with the bigger games. You know, you don't have a lot of readable dialect, right? You, they, you actually get act, voice actors and stuff talking, right? Yeah. That's one thing you kind of expect with, like, newer games nowadays, especially story mode games. Definitely. Not in Pokemon still. You're still getting the text. You're, you're still reading text? Yeah, still reading text. Like, there's there's no voices, nothing like that. That's lame. Yeah, so, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I'm used to it, of course, and I don't expect, you know, anything less than that. But, like, thinking about it, I was like... So this is on a console. You want the console experience, but you still don't have it. I don't know. I would say maybe they were scared to make the jump, but they, but then they maybe. did these. No, no, but I don't think so because they made these weird ass systems with giant fucking Pokemon and shit. So they don't sound scared to me. Oh yeah, the Dynamax but, system. Yeah. Yeah. That's True. Anyway, uh, right. <laughs> the Dynamax thing is pretty cool. Though. Like any Pokemon could Dynamax. So one thing that was previous before this was the Mega Evolution, right? Yeah. I Where a certain that. Pokemon you have to get a Mega Stone and then they evolve and they get this whole new form, right? Right. Uh, Dynamax is almost similar, except you don't need any special items, and any Pokemon can Dynamax. It doesn't change your form. And it doesn't change the form. You just get bigger. For most. There there are a few Pokemon that do get different forms. What the fuck? Why is that? Like, Charizard gets this crazy looking form, because Charizard's just fucking special. And, That's um, bullshit. Like... And, and I know uh, Snorlax gets some type of special form, too, where he becomes this huge, you know, Snorlax, but then on his belly, there's like a fucking little forest on there or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking weird. But why some Pokemon? I don't know. I'm not sure if you need a special item for some of those things or not. That's so annoying. Like, it should be the same across the board. Like, But that's... the thing that's cool about the Dynamax, like, I- I've done it a couple times now, and I'm not that mad at it because, you know, all it is is a bigger Pokemon, and you get these max moves for a little bit, and it only lasts for three levels or for, for three rounds, for three attacks, and then you shrink back down. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's very kind of niche when you want to use it. You got to be, you know... You get Precise better, when you, you use get it. better defense or better attack when you're Dynamax? Barely, barely. Because I-, I was a... Uh, on my first stream that I played, I, I stayed small form uh, with my Oddish as I fought, you know, this uh, grass type gym leader. And he Dynamaxed right away when he brought out his last Pokemon. But I stayed normal and I took a hit and survived. And then I hit them and got like half their life down. I was like, oh, oh shit. Fuck? Yeah. So it's not that big of a difference, really. Uh, it's, it is beneficial, but, you know, it, depending on the defense and, you know, all the other outcomes with the other Pokemon, they might survive and you might survive. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I'm not that mad at it. It's not like overpowering or anything like that, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Pokemon Sword is what I'm playing. And um, yeah, so far I'm two gyms in and I'm liking it. Uh, aside from that, did some Soul Calibur, right? We got some Season 2 going on. Yeah. Um, that's been interesting. Uh, how are you liking uh, Season 2? I know, because I know it's that should cool. be like one of your things on your... It's pretty cool, yeah. I mean, uh, so for, yeah, I I like the options that Taki has now. Like they kind of fix some of her things. Uh, there's some things kind of annoying they didn't fix, like uh, the way her back turns don't like correct and shit like that. Like you know, what? I think that's an overall issue because I've noticed because of course Tolum, I'm always in back turn, right? Uh, and I have a lot of moves out of back turn. That's not but, just Taki, huh? But there's been a couple times recently. Like I never really had the problem a lot, but the other night when we were playing, there is like multiple times where I'll be back turned toward them and I start attacking, trying to do some back turn attack, but I end up doing a forward facing attack. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. walking away from them as I'm doing it, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's happened to me too. That's a little annoying. And I, I've noticed it happened to, uh, I forget if it was either Steven or Drew, uh, either with Yoshimitsu or with uh, Mitsurugi. I think it was Mitsurugi maybe. So someone else did, did something too in back turn, and they got a different attack and went forward away from me with it. I was like, that's weird. Like, I mean, That must be a, a glitch yeah. in, in the current uh, patch. They might have to fix that one. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's been dope though. Um, I really like the, the options my character has. Um yeah, I feel like I got new options for Tom's too. Like I didn't get any crazy new moves, but they they add to the mix up game is what I got. Yeah, most of mine for are to add to mix up for Taki and to make it easier for her to close gap distance. Okay. Which is dope because certain characters that could outrange her would just fuck her up like Geralt. Like he had the perfect range to just lock her right there and like kill her. You mm-hmm. know. So now she has moves to kind of jump in there better. That's cool. Um. So yeah, season two is pretty good. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, One thing I noticed that I didn't like though, I, I guess whatever. I, there's new options now, but with uh, Sung Mina, uh, you know how that how I have that combo where if I get you on the ground, I can lift you up the ground, and then I do some fucking spinning yeah, shit, shit. That, and then juggle you in the air for a bit. That doesn't connect anymore. So from lifting off the ground, 
to the air juggle, that doesn't connect anymore. Oh, actually, wow. actually, you don't even lift all the ground anymore. You don't pop back up. Um, and like Steven pointed out, he's like, oh yeah, I played a Slug Mina. You don't get that chain anymore. I was like, what? He's like, but there's a new chain with some new move I've never seen. I saw him do it, yeah. And, and then, I saw some us see it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I ended up doing it afterwards though. Uh, I figured it out. I'm like, oh, is it this move? And I tried to do one of the new moves. Like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. That, that connects. So I'm like, okay. And later on, I, I end up getting it. So now I got to remember, though. But the thing that sucks that it's a, it's a rolling, it's a quarter full or a quarter roll forward uh, attack with mm-hmm. Slamina that she has now. Okay. Which is a lot of the soul attacks nowadays, too, right? Your soul attacks, are they're quarter roll forwards, I right? Think, I think everyone's soul attack is like that. Yeah. Quarter roll, then, triple button, triple yeah, attack. Yeah, ABK. Um. What's Takis? Uh, she does this crazy little chain combo that can end in possession if you want. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but you can. I could see you could catch somebody off guard pretty badly if like if you uh, if you timed it right, you know. But I, I don't love it though. I've been using it here and there, and there's a couple moments where it's good. But like, I also feel like there's a couple moments. Maybe if I just did my regular chain punish, it might be better than that. Yeah. Uh, unless you, know you, know you, want, I mean? unless you want to get into possession, you know. I guess that's one way. Yeah, I mean, that'll definitely leave me in a safe possession, so there's that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I like mine. I like Talon's. Talon's pretty cool. Uh, she does, like, a little tornado that's, like, you know, a few feet in front of her. So if someone's kind of far away and I can't reach them, I can I can try to get them in with that. And then the, the wind blows toward you, so it brings them toward you, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then okay. if, if I want to, I can also go into a stance as well, which I don't think the stance is that useful to get into, I guess, unless I want to mix up. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do with it once I get it, but I, I at least have a few ways where I can combo into it. So I can do something and then run the floor on the red. I can launch it right away. Or if I launch them into the air, I can take them out the air. So I have some options with, uh, you know, ending juggles with it at least. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Other things, um, but yeah. Raphael's harder for me in season two for some reason. I feel like he, dude, I, I think, don't know. I think you got a little buff. I heard. I heard that. I, yeah. I feel it, bro. I feel you like feel the, it? <laughs> I, I, I don't know where to attack him. Like there's like so many moments where I felt, okay, maybe I can do it now. And no, you can't. Cause now he, he gets you for free. Like, damn. And his moments are like, I, I started looking it up on the discord, you know, mm-hmm. his moments to hit him are moments that visually it doesn't look like you can do it. I hate that. <laughs> that that's the he's, worst. He's got to learn them. That's some... the worst. Yeah. Like, I'm like, dude, you telling me I can hit him right here. Like, I was like, <laughs> and then there's moments where it looks like you can respond, but really you're still reeling back from guard. And oh, shit. that sucks. So, yeah. Yeah. So I really don't like Raphael. I got to learn him. Yeah, I know. I feel like I'm, I'm thinking the same thing too, because uh, when I went to Wednesday night fights last time, a couple weeks ago, uh, I played a Raphael and, and I got pretty beat pretty bad because I, I didn't know anything. Mm. And then um, but that's pretty much – anytime I see Raphael, I end up losing because I just don't know what to do against him. But, yeah, I, I kind of want to learn him too just so I can know what to expect. Fencing duels, you and me? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, for other things for my unfocused week, um, I saw the newest Watchmen episode, which was fucking nuts. Um, Are I'm they not, coming out weekly? Yeah, they come out weekly mm. on HBO. Uh, I'm not going to tell anybody anything, but this is what – Everyone's kind of been waiting for it. What happens in this one? Like, in the, it's the R oh, shit, my bad. How did that happen? Uh, oh, apparently, they had their highest ratings ever on this last Sunday because the episode was just so fucking lit. Oh, that's cool. And people were like rewatching it afterwards, like, what the fuck happened? You know, like, what the fuck was that about? Like, you know? It's on HBO, right? Yeah, HBO. Yeah. I wouldn't watch it unless you've read the comic. Like, you can't even watch the movie and watch it because it's, it's the ending's so different in the movie, you know? You have to read the comic. It, it's, re- it's retelling it, right? No, it's uh, a sequel to the oh, comic. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, so it's real heavy. And uh, one thing that people both praise and complain about it is that they don't feed you what happened in the comic. Like, you just kind of got to know. If you, if you don't know, it's like you're going to be really fucking confused. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're like, wait, what What the fuck? Like, giant squid. Like, why, what the fuck? Oh, so they went with that ending, huh? Yeah, they, they did the ending from the book. Yeah, mm. they're like, and like, they talk about it, and they just talk about it offhandedly, and then they get over it. <laughs> and you're just supposed to be like, oh, okay, what the fuck? Giant squid, I guess, okay. But, uh, you know, if you read the book, it's really enjoyable. Somehow it's getting crazy-ass views on HBO, and I know everyone has not fucking read the book, so I don't know why people are watching it if they haven't read it. I can only imagine it being confusing. Uh, I can yeah, imagine that, too. You know? But people uh, really like it, so so it's been really good. Um, uh, my friend gave me this Batman the White Knight story, which is supposed to be one of the best modern batman stories so i'm gonna check that out uh he gave me the whole arc of it nice oh uh, yeah pretty cool then other things uh the mandalorian episode five i watched it after thanksgiving at midnight because yeah, it i comes watched up, it, it oh, you're fucking well you can take your time there's no yeah, rush i am yeah because i have to wait for it to be over there's only eight episodes i think and we're on, we're on five now it's already on five the one that comes out at midnight today will be five. Oh shit okay 
Oh, yeah, all right, I'll wait. Yeah, you might as well wait now, so you're in a good spot. Yeah, I heard people talking about it and they kind of mix about it. With the mixed. last couple. Of... Yeah. No, people were only mixed about this very last episode because it was kind of yeah. filler, quote unquote, but not really. Like, they're trying to tell you things about the character. Like, mm. nothing happened plot wise. So yeah, people, yeah. People didn't like it, but okay. episode one, two, three, everyone's been not shutting the fuck up about it. So, yeah. Like, it's, it's amazing. It's a really good show. Um,. Other than that, uh, I've been keeping up on all the X Men comics. I read them all. Um, they're pretty fucked up. I'm still mm-hmm. waiting to read more of it, but uh, it's not over yet. Other than that, um, I think that's the main stuff. Watchmen. Thanksgiving happened. Anything happened around that time? I just remember something. Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah that's what happened on Thanksgiving. Black Friday. I got I picked up this case. I've been wanting this for a while, but this case is like forty bucks. It looks because nice. not only it's a hard case, right, for the Switch. This is a Switch case, by the way, for people that can't see. But also, it came with um, this um, Ooh. bracket thing, like the little arms on the side. What do you call these again? Like the frame you put on onto the Switch, and it gives you a better grip. It's, it's a grip, pretty much, yeah. And I've had grips before. I had one other one, and it wasn't that comfortable. But this one has the same like, same like curve to it as the the controller grips that come with the actual system. And I'm I, I like the way that one feels, so that's why I tried this one. And it comes with these little cases and stuff too. So I've been eyeing this at the store every time I go there, check it out. It's always like forty bucks, but I found it on on Amazon on Black Friday for twenty five bucks. I was like, wow, fuck yeah, let's do it. So I got this shit. So this thing's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. I like the thickness of the case. It makes like makes me feel like my my shit's safe. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the way the grip feels so far. But the true. <clears throat> The true test is playing Splatoon in it, which I haven't gotten to yet. But I want to play Splatoon with this in handheld mode to see if it feels as good as I want it to feel. That's just going to be the true test. But, I mean, that's pretty much all I did. <laughs> all right, so with that said, let's jump into the news, huh? Hey. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 you know what? Before hmm. we do that, um, I guess we can include this as part of Unfocus Week just because uh, it's not technically news. The Black Widow trailer. I mean, it is news. I mean... Is it though? if you if then if you don't know what ki- that it came out? I guess. All right, yeah, you can play it if you want. Okay. <laughs> this is the news. The news. The news. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna talk too much about it, but uh, the Black yeah. Widow trailer. Yeah. Explain it to me. Black Widow trailer came out on, on uh, like midnight, uh, like uh, what Tuesday night or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I was like surprised, like okay, that was fucking random. Um, but yeah, it's the trailer for the movie. We finally got something out of it. Now, it wasn't even a te- we haven't even gotten a teaser before, have we? No, the only people that went to um, Comic Con got the and uh, got the teaser, but everyone and D twenty three, but the rest of us didn't get it. Yeah, this is the first time, and this is I guess what we got here was more than what they got. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So, so what do you think of it so far? Because I, I think it look it looks pretty dope. I don't know where the story is going, of course, because I don't. I'm not familiar with her background or any of these other characters that are popping out. It seems like a Winter Soldier type of thing. Um, yeah. Very spy like. Um, yeah, that's true. They have a little bit of superpower shit, but it doesn't seem like too much. Um, I I don't know. It looks really good. I'm I'm interested in it. I wonder uh, what it's gonna say for the rest of the Marvel universe. That's the question I'm wondering about because I feel like it's the the movie itself may not hold a lot of gravity to everything, but I feel like the ending of it might say a lot for the future of the Marvel Universe. I'm know? wondering that, too. So, uh, Thunderbolt Ross is in it, a little yes, younger, man. right? And so, older. And older. They have him both so, uh, uh, de-aged and aged up. So, uh, I'm, I'm wondering, too, like, is the movie going to, like, take us back in the past for, like, you know, maybe the first half or something, and then it's going to skip to, like, you know, the present? Or more like, I think it's supposed to take place somewhere after... Uh, uh, Civil War, right? Yeah. In between least, Civil War and Infinity War. Yeah, at least part part of the movie is after Civil War, if not the whole movie. It might be the whole movie, but it's okay. af- it is after Civil War. Like, so that's the that's the main part of it. Yeah. So so this Captain Britain guy is that who it is? Uh, no, it's not Captain Britain. No. Oh, wait, um, who is it? This is the Red Guardian. The Red Guardian. So yeah. it, so he's. He's, Russia, Russia's answer to Captain America, basically. And this is and he's there after Civil War. Yes, he's there after Civil wow, War. Wow, okay. I'm wondering if, if what her story is going to be is about the Sokovia Accords, because I don't know if you have to sign up for it if you're not in America. So maybe it's about mm. that fool has to sign up for the Sokovia Accords. Right. You know, um, could be that. Um, the story of the Red Guardian is he was also given a serum very similar to Captain America's, but 
it didn't keep him from aging. It only gave him super strength and shit. Mm. So it was like a lesser version of Captain America's formula. Yeah. So you, as you notice, he ages, he gets fat, you know. But yeah. He still has super strength and super agility and shit. Okay. Um, but that's really about it. In the comic, he fights with a shield connected to a magnet on his belt so that he can call the shield back. Okay. Yeah, it's really weird, but it's kind of cool. Um, so we'll see if they do that. Yeah, they might. Which I see that being a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the weird thing is Taskmaster, you know, um, anyone doesn't know, he's basically got the shotting gun from, from Naruto. <laughs> Any move you do, he can do it too, you know? He, yeah. he can remember it too. He has a crazy-ass memory. Um, I don't know if Taskmaster's going to be the same. Uh, Taskmaster could be, uh, you know, one of the other Black Widows, because maybe that's why he knows her moves. Oh, wow. Taskmaster could be Hawkeye. Like, maybe, you know, during the time of the Civil War after he got caught, Whoa. he was forced to fucking, you know, like, work for the government or work for someone, you know, and, and do some shit. Because, you know, yeah. we see Taskmaster as so, a bow and arrow. So he's given a task, right? Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> he's given a task, you know, and, and you better now, be good at it. Like, now he's a master of that task. Exactly. Therefore, Taskmaster. You know, and we have seen him use multiple weapons. Huh. He's used both a sword and a bow and arrow. True. And some random guns and stuff like that. So yeah. he's, he's got a lot of skills with weapons, so... He could technically be, like, you know, maybe Taskmaster if they want to use that. It, it, will people be upset if that's a thing, though? I don't think so, because I don't think Taskmaster is the main villain. Okay. I think it's a puppeteer type of thing. Hmm. I think uh, whatever the deal is with Taskmaster, whoever it is in the end, it's whoever is controlling Taskmaster who will be the real villain. And that might be, you know, some other Black Widow villain that we don't, you know, that you only know if you read comics. You know? Okay. That's what I think. And if that's true, it would make sense to get Hawkeye to do it because he knows her very well. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see, though. But he's been brainwashed before. No, it's not about brainwashing, though. It's about he got caught after Civil War. Yeah. Like, he owes, the, you know what I mean? Like, he's got the, the, the bracelet. They're like, if you want to see your family, you got to do this mission for us, you know, type of thing. Hmm. And maybe that counters what Black Widow said. One other thing I want to bring up, Black Widow had mentioned in a movie. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember which movie it was. I can't remember. But she said, I went back, uh, tried to find out about my family. You know, I found two gravestones for my mom and my dad. Like, she mentioned briefly, like, the shit she had done. Right. I don't know if that's this timeline. Maybe that's this, you know? Like, Maybe. Yeah. So, that's interesting. But well, yeah, Black Widow. Let's um, check that out when it happens. Yeah, May 2020. Yeah, if anything, too, if they, if they don't show us anything on the end credits that gives us a future of the universe, at the very least, I feel like whatever... Uh, Ross does and the bro Ross does in the movie will be somehow significant or like we should pay attention to what he does in this movie in the past and then in the future come... present type of area yeah the, so. rum- the rumor is the age depth Thunderbolt Ross might be used for the end credit shit too mm. like for you know maybe they show us all this shit in the past and then they fast forward to the future after what he knows you mm-hmm. know and you know yeah, I don't know we'll see we'll see maybe Taskmaster is still alive afterwards mm-hmm. Maybe, shit. Maybe, Maybe Taskmaster is Thunderbolt Ross. Maybe Taskmaster's Greg. Maybe. All right. All right. Um, okay, so, quick piece of news. Ultraman. Ultraman. So um, anyone who knows about Ultraman, he's like a Japanese superhero. Uh, His picture is tiny. Very much like, um, I'm trying to think of who he's, like Superhuman Samurai or um, Power Rangers kind of. You know, he's a regular guy that puts on an item. <laughs> he's and a makes, regular guy. It makes him into this super fucking being that stops aliens and monsters and shit, right? Right. So uh, that's Ultraman here. And Ultraman uh, is going to be getting a collaboration project done with Marvel. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was announced that Su- um, Suburaya, which is the company that owns Ultraman, will mm-hmm. be collaborating with Marvel to do an um, Ultraman manga. Nice. Yeah, so it's going to be a comic. And then uh, the art is done, as you actually can see from this picture, the art is done by Alex Ross. And he's the guy who's done like some of the most famous uh, both Marvel and DC comics. Is both he Kingdom. related to Thunderbolt Ross? No. No. Okay. Uh, he did both Kingdom Come for DC and the Marvels by Marvel. And like, uh, he's really good. He draws very realistic type of shit. Nice. Uh, Wait, so they're doing a manga out of it? Yeah. That kind of defeats the purpose, I feel. Uh, they they it, call it a Japanese character. Well, I don't know if it's and a manga. giving him a manga. Well, it says comic book, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a manga. Or... Unless it was like translated from Japanese and it, it came out as manga. I mean, it says it says comic, but I don't know. Comic and manga translate to the same thing, so yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to be in manga format or comic format, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm assuming since it's a collaboration with Marvel, it might be in mo- uh, comic format. Hmm. I uh, will learn more as time goes on, but that is happening. Cool. So do they call Marvel Comics Marvel Manga in Japan? Marvel. Oh. Uh, but, uh, 
You know, I don't know if they call it manga. <laughs> no, because they have Marvel manga, and that was like we- a weird collaboration from America, so I don't think they would call it that. Mm, okay. Anyways. No release date on this. All right. But that sounds cool, though. <clears throat> My turn? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Game Freak. I was just playing Pokemon, right? And then before Sword and Shield came out, you know, we had some links that come out, right? And we're kind of talking about them. We talked about a few of them. Um, the main one, too, was, like, the leaks of, like, uh, the the Pokedex. Uh, people find out that there are a lot of Pokemon missing, right? Right. And supposedly, also, someone either had a beta version of the game or maybe mocked up some game themselves and actually streamed it on Twitch somewhere, um, <clears throat> I don't know, a couple of weeks ago or something like that, or a couple of months ago before the game's release. And um, that just looked so bad that people were, like, talking about the game afterwards. Like, yeah, it doesn't look good. It's not going to look good when it comes out. Uh, like you look at it now, stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, all that boils down to Game Freak wanted to sue whoever's leaking this shit. Oh shit! So now they're they're trying to uh, sue whoever's leaked it, um, all the information, uh, and they're like going through Reddit and 4chan looking for whoever it is. Uh, they might have gotten a few people's names and stuff like that that they're trying to sue, but I'm pretty sure they're trying to break it down to. Who's leaking it from within inside the company? You know? Oh shit! Someone, yeah. just, someone fucked up. Yeah, so someone fucked up, and they're trying to see who's who's fucking up. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on with that. Uh, so if you leak some shit, watch your back. Game Freak's <laughs> looking for you. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Game Freak's out for money. Yeah. Even though Pokemon's like hugely successful and shit like that, it's like they they want to sue for for property damage and all that and shit. So, but I mean, anyways. All right, uh, in other news, so um, Marvel had a, a little special cartoon coming out that we were talking about a few uh, a few weeks ago called Tiger and Dazzler. Actually, I think it's a few months ago. Um, and this was going to be uh, an adult style, like an adult swim style cartoon animated show that was only going to be released on Hulu directly. Nice. And, um, you know, we have some weird stuff Are these uh, strippers? Going, on, going on with it, some weird news. Apparently, the whole writing staff has been fired. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, they fired the the, the lead writer and her whole staff. And, um, her Mar- whole yeah, staff? Yeah, it, it was a lady writing this oh, one. Oh, man. Um, let me see if I can get her name real quick. Um, and her number. No, nah, I'm good. She got <laughs> fired. <laughs> um, well, Chelsea Handler's still attached to it, but whoever the lead writer was before, I can't find the name off the top right now. But uh, she and her whole writing team got fired. And they will be rewriting the whole series. Uh, I don't know why this happened. We haven't heard details, but I'm going to assume that this is happening because Marvel is now uh, having Kevin Feige as a head. Yeah. And uh, Disney is more involved as well. Yeah. And this is also already kind of barely writing on a line of something that Disney wouldn't do normally. Hmm. So maybe someone came out and said, you know, this is too raunchy, this is too violent, which yeah. is whatever it is, either too sexy, one of those two things. That makes sense. And maybe the connection wasn't there like they wanted. And yeah, with, with Feige involved now too. Yeah, maybe that too. Maybe yeah. they, they didn't want things. Or maybe there. it was all of it, you know. Yeah, maybe it was everything. Yeah. It could very well be. But uh, either way, they said this series is still coming out. Uh, the production is on hold right now, but the whole writing team has been fired. So, damn. I know, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> all right, so that's, that's a that. whack surprise, man. I know. Surprise, dude. you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, AJ. All right. Um, what else do we got here? So Nintendo Switch Online. So you know if you have the online service and all that, you get to play those NES games, those SNES games for free and all that. Well, uh, the other day Nintendo announced that there is going to be six new games coming pretty soon for both the NES part of it and the SNES part of it. Um, four of those games will be on the Super Nintendo part, and then the other two games will be on the NES. So on the NES Classic side, uh, Nintendo Switch Online NES, we're getting Journey of Silas. Never heard of that game? Ever heard of that for the NES? Oh, no, I never heard of that. No. Uh, and the other one we're getting is uh, Crystallis. I wonder if these are related, actually. Silius and Crystallis. Yeah, no, I never heard no. of those. No. On the Super Nintendo side, Star Fox 2, which I'm hyped for because I want to try that. Uh, you know, I tried playing Star Fox 1 uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was weird, but it was very similar to Star Fox 64, which 
I think it is the same it, thing. It, it's no? almost the same story. There's there's more levels in Star Fox sixty four, but the there's like five key levels that are exactly identical. Yeah, that, that one. I mean, the first one felt felt very identical. The first one, the sun level with the you know where you're on the star with the lava people or whatever. Yeah. The, that one, there, there's like three three or five of them like that are exactly the same, and mm. then they just added stuff and added more story from there. I see. Anyways, uh, Super Punch Out is another one coming. Uh, Kirby Superstar. Oh, that game is so good. Sir, Kirby Superstar is the best Kirby game. And uh, Breath of Fire 2. So those are all the games that are coming out on the service. So if you have the online service, go download those apps and you can play any of those games and anything else that was there. Um, which that's how I want to play uh, Link to the Past pretty soon. That's one game on Damn. my list that I want to get to. That's a good After one. I beat the original Legend of Zelda, now that I think about it, because I'm at the end. And you got to play Link Between Worlds after that. Uh... Yeah, isn't that what I said? No, you said Legend. You said Link. Link to the Past. To the past Wait, Link yeah. Between Worlds. Yeah, that's the. Sequel. Oh, the the the, the recent to, one. Yeah, sequel to Link to the Past. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do all that. <laughs> Fuck out of here! <laughs> all right. I, I think like Link to the Past is like where I stop. You know. <laughs> all right. Um, in other news, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is getting rebooted. And rebooted. Yeah, Disney is going to reboot both that one and um, Planet of the Apes. I'm what? Not, I know, I know. I haven't seen the. I haven't seen any of these modern Planet of the Apes, but I know they're how, all prequels. I know how much everyone. Yeah, I. I think the very first one though, from the early two thousands, is actually a remake of Planet of the Apes, and that's kind of in this whole thing of the modern ones. But Disney's going to restart it completely. I think that's a bad. Oh idea. man, because the, the. I mean, at least that. What is it? The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. What, what, what was the first one of the prequels? That Planet with of the, the Apes. It was just called Planet of the Apes. Well, but. But that's what I was saying. The first one isn't a prequel. It's a complete remake of the original. And then they started making prequels. Okay, yeah. Well, the prequels are good. At least that first one with uh, James Franco and it and shit. Yeah. That was pretty dope. And I wanted to see the other ones. I just never got around to doing it. I heard all of them, even the remake is good, but I just haven't gotten to them. Oh, that sucks that they're going to reset that whole shit. I know, that's such a burn. I know, I was thinking the same thing. All right, fuck it. I mean, I never seen the originals anyway, so Uh, I'm good. (laughs) I know, right? I guess I should just ignore them now? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. (laughs) guess I'm going to see those other two movies now. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids also is being rebooted. The funny thing about that one is the original director is coming back. Joe Johnston, the guy who did Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. Is Rick Moranis coming back too? Mm, We don't know about that. (laughs) Um, Where has he been? He's like one of those people that just fell off the face of the earth. I know, bro. He just disappeared. Yeah. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, Apparently, Josh Gad, I don't know who that is. He's an actor that they're talking about getting in there. But I just think it's really interesting they're going to do this. But apparently he did Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. But he did not do Honey, I Shrunk the Kids again. Hmm. So... But he's coming back. Because that would have been repetitive. Yeah, he's like, this is too much. You know? <laughs> Again? Come on. <laughs> but yeah, keep an eye out for both uh, Planet of the Apes and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids remakes. Dude, Disney is fucking going to be on 10. And those, those are Disney properties now, huh? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I, I feel like now that they have this, like they're gonna now they have Disney Plus, they're going to start going ham right now. Like, they, all the shit's going to go directly to their shit. Yeah. That's if, true. If you even liked it a little bit, if you want to see it again or show it to somebody, you got to watch it on Disney Plus. Yeah. Like, all right, AJ? All right. So uh, Tekken World Tour, the finals are coming up this weekend. Um, you, you, do you know how the World Tours work? Because even Capcom has their Pro Tour. I don't know. So they're just tournaments, right, for those respective games, right? Uh, Street Fighter has their own. Tekken has their own. I, a few couple of other games have their own. I think Dragon Ball has their own too, the World Tour. But pretty much, you know, the, the company itself kind of, I know, does these uh, tournaments. And um, they, they even team up with other big tournaments once in a while, like at Evo. Uh, Tekken World Tour and Pro Tour, uh, Street Fighter Pro Tour, were part of Evo as well. So if you played those games <laughs> at Evo, you got points toward the actual big tournament, the oh, World Tour. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And then, you know, anytime there's a World Tour tournament somewhere, you go to you're, it. You're you get ranking. Yeah, you, you get points for it. And then if you get enough points, you can go to the finals and win a big shit ton of money, right? So that's pretty much how the World Tours work. Okay. Um, Ni, nee, who's one of the Koreans, who's been like at the top rank, you know, Korean players and all that. Uh, he's been winning a lot of, you know, tournaments for for a while now in Tekken. Uh, until Pakistan came through. And yeah. Now, and that was earlier this year. They've been wrecking house. And yeah. that was at Evil Japan, where that happened, where uh, Ashlyn Ash came through and just wrecked house with everybody, and they continue to do so afterwards. Um, and then we heard some of the Koreans were going over to Pakistan to train, right? Ni nee went over there. He was actually just there this weekend uh, training with the Pakistanis uh, for the World Tour next week. 
uh, and he played some matches with a lot of people, and I heard that he was winning a lot of his matches. Uh, he was doing five uh, best of fives, best of tens with a bunch of people, just winning, just killing people, right? Until he got to like two specific players, um, when he was about to fight them, their sponsors came up was like, no, they they cannot play you today. No matches with these guys until the world tour, because they're gonna be in the world tour too. So their sponsors. The Pakistani sponsors don't want the knee, you know, don't want the Korean player to learn their strats and all that right now. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Are you serious? So their sponsors actually stopped them from from playing each other. Oh, dude, I always hope the fighting, <laughs> I always hope the fighting game world would never get to this level. That's fucking lame, dude. Like, no, that's <laughs> but not there, cool. But there's a lot of money on the line too, which is why they figured they they stopped it. I think it's the the pot is at two hundred and fifty thousand. I understand. Like, that's still lame. Like, now we're losing the fighting spirit. Now, like, <laughs> I don't want to fight you because I don't want you to learn my style yet. No, the like, the players wanted to play. No, I know. The sponsors stopped it. But I know that's even more <laughs> fucked up that the sponsors, like the companies, can be involved that much that they can stop the finals. Yeah, like, that's lame. I thought that was crazy, though. It's like, oh, it's just getting too heated. He's winning everyone else. No, he can't play you guys because he's going to learn some shit. And then you guys are out of that tournament. He's like, we're going home. Yeah. All right, All right but we're not ready for bed. It's <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> but, yeah, I just thought that was crazy, though. Like, it's getting to that point now where a sponsor like, no, too much money on the line. Don't want you learning some shit. Go read a book. It's just getting real, bro. Yeah, I know. But see, I thought that was interesting. See, they'll be better if people have to learn their shit and they got to think of new shit. Like, that's their problem. They're not thinking about it that way. Yeah, you know? I am. I mean, maybe they don't want them to think of new shit. <laughs> <laughs> your old shit's working. Right? Just stick with that. Don't let them learn your old shit yet. All right. Um, other news. Bill Nye is suing Disney. The science guy? The science guy. Oh, man. It's funny you say that. Oh, shit. Because he's suing them over that show. Oh, what? Um, yeah, Bill. Oh, he's going to sue them for $28 million in damages. Plus punitive losses. So, like, why? Uh, apparently, what did Disney they do? They underreported the revenue they made off of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh wow! And his team found it. Oh shit! Yeah, and uh, wait. He, so, what has Disney always owned the Bill Nye shit? Yeah. Well, Disney was putting it out before. Okay. Okay. You know, and it's like wow. Um, okay then. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's really pissed about it. And um, apparently, it's kind of a thing. It's a long and consistent. Pa- this is a quote, Bill. A uh, long and consistent pattern of underreporting revenue and improperly applying deductions. So, yeah, I guess our favorite science guy's been getting fucked this whole time. He also knows some math, too, apparently. Shit. Yeah, man. Science, <laughs> science has everything in it, you know? Seriously. Yeah, don't fuck with the Bill Nye. No. Uh, yeah, he's getting revenge on them, and that shit's really happening. So Apparently, he lives local around here somewhere because uh, one of my old co-workers says she was trick-or-treating and uh, came upon his house. What? Yeah. Bill Nye, the science guy's house? Yeah. Somewhere, Damn. I don't know where, like Beverly Hills or Hollywood, some shit like that. I don't know. Damn. The full or maybe stuff. Burbank. I don't remember. I remember. Anyways. I remember one of the biggest revelations to me was when I found out this fool was like a real legit, like one of the top five scientists in America. And I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, he's like really good? Like, I, <laughs> I thought he was like a kid scientist, you know, to teach kids shit. But no, he, he he's is. apparently the shit. Like, he... Yeah. That's crazy, though. All right, Bill, get your money, man. You want to hear one more? Um, break? Hold on to, is it this button? You bitch. Yep. No. Yep. There it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, other news. So I used to talk about one world tour, right? Well, we got another announcement from Bandai Namco that Soul Calibur is getting their own world tour now. So Tekken's Whoa. had it, Dragon Ball Z, Street Fighter. Now I guess Soul Calibur is like just supported enough by the community. That they want to go ahead and do a world tour for the Shit, Soul Calibur. Shit, we're getting yeah. there, bro. The future's coming. Right? Oh, fuck. So uh, what was pretty cool, too, is they got someone from the community to, to kind of announce it. Uh, Kiane, who's uh, one of nice. the uh, French she, players. Yeah, she's good, right? Yeah. Uh, I know she played uh, shang I think she switched over to... Raphael? Uh, no, it wasn't Raphael now. I forgot who she was using now. Anyways, I, thought, she, okay, she, I forgot who it was. But she kind of went and announced it. Um uh, so that was cool to see, just that, that first step. And then their first world tour tournament is at Evo Japan, which is in like January. Damn. And then all the all the news is all, all the uh like legal stuff is out now. Um but yeah, it's gonna be your t- typical like world tour though, like you know, collect points at the world tournaments trip. randomly. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah, anyone's interested in like, you know, doing world tour stuff, uh go ahead and look this up. Um, I'll I'll pay attention to more tournaments now and just see where we can actually go. But I'm I'm kind of shocked that this is actually happening though too because when we had um, what was it? It was the um, uh, Electric Cancel when that happened a couple of months ago. 
went to that tournament. A bunch of 3D games, right? Um, Tekken was there, and then what else was there? De- Dead or Alive. Um, Soul Calibur was there. But a bunch of 3D fighters, right? And only Tekken had like triple digits, like uh, uh, representing the game. Everything else had low numbers. Even Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur only had like 30 participants in it. So I was like thinking to myself, like, man, this is going to kill like any future for the community. But I, I guess it didn't. Uh, which is kind of crazy. So glad to see that's going to be a, a thing now. And then, you know, Season 2 came out and all that too, so that's even more hype. Uh, hopefully we'll get a Season 3 out of it or something. And more stages too, shit. Anyways, with that said, uh, I think T's all set up for Music of the Week. So I'm going to go ahead and start that shit up. Music pop power. Right. Music of the Week, part of the show where we share some music with you. It's what we've been listening to and what we think you should be listening to. Yes, sir. And what do you got this week for us, AJ? Uh, I got some R.L. Grime. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I heard, heard this new track. I'm not sure if it's new or not. It's just a track I've never heard called Formula. So that's going to be my track. All right. And mine is going to be called What If by this new artist I just found called Amber Mark. She's pretty dope. R&B. Kind of sounds very old school. Reminds me of like a Marie type thing. Oh, nice. Cool. All right, and then you already have your shit plugged in, right? Oh, yeah. So I guess we're going to do your shit first. All right, let's do it. And see you after this music break. All right, guys, that was Music of the Week by Unfocused. Brought to you by Unfocused. You heard it here first. That's right. The first song was Amber Mark, What If? And the second song was R.L. Grime, Formula. That's right. And uh, that was... Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, uh, if you have Spotify, you can go look for those tracks on our Spotify playlist that I'm slowly putting together. Um, yeah, that's just gonna be so lit. Uh, I'm gonna, Honestly, that's probably gonna be a really nice playlist. <laughs> who, 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 who was your track again? It was um, Amber Mark. What Amber. if? You can just reference the book, bro. You got the book. Everything's here. True. Not everything, but most things. <laughs> I, I miss it sometimes. Add to playlist. Bam. That's called Unfocus MLTW. MLTW as in Music of the Week. All right, there you go. If you want to search it, there's a way to search it. I did post it on our Twitter, uh, uh, Unfocused at... Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, Twitter, at Unfocus 28 Instagram, at Unfocus Podcast. Uh, and also uh, subscribe to us in Apple Podcasts instead of podcast there. Leave comments, too, <clears throat> or email us if you have things you want us to talk about. Five-star ratings in Apple Podcasts. Only five-star ratings. Just don't even... Don't even read it if you're angry. Or just let us know how badass we are. Yeah, in those emails. Add an, uh, what is it? Email address is unfocusedpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, and, of course, collision28.com for just the randomness of Unfocus. Um, but, yeah, on our Twitter over there, Unfocus28, uh, look for that playlist uh, tweet that I tweeted a while back. Anyways, back to the uh, news. Let's do it. Okay! This is the news. Let's do it! <laughs> the news. Oh, my bad. You yeah, get you you man. get it. All right, I do it again. Okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're slipping. This is the news. Let's do it! <laughs> the news. All right, so since we're fresh off the heels of uh, Music of the Week, I'll do a little music-related news. The Gorillas have a documentary coming, which I didn't know about. Yeah, I saw this shit on my uh, Instagram, like, ad- oh, ads did? and all that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what is this shit? Yeah, apparently it's called... Uh, um, Reject False Icons. Reject False Icons. And it's a documentary talking about the creation of the last two albums, The Fall and The Now Now. Oh, really? It's about those? Yeah, oh, I, I, okay. I, I was thinking it was an overall thing, but as I yeah. looked into it, no, it's actually about... That was like the first maybe couple albums or something like that. That's about the last couple albums. Damn. So actually, yeah, so, <laughs> Completely backwards. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot about the turmoil between the gorillas because they were fresh off of a, a kind of a bad break before that. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, maybe they'll talk about a little bit like how they came back together and shit. It should be pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, they did say it features uh, Ben Staples, Pusha T, and uh, Noel Gall- Gallagher from... Um, Wonderwall. What do they call it? Uh, Oasis. Oasis. So yeah, Pusha T, uh, Noel Gallagher from Oasis. I thought Snoop was in it too. Maybe he is. I, th- I think I saw Snoop in that. Okay, maybe he is too. <clears throat> Snoop Dogg, by the way. Mostly West every- Coast. Mostly everyone that's featured in their last two albums will be in it to some degree. So mm-hmm. that's you know pretty interesting. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of down to check it. It's like a select theater type of thing too, right? Yes, it's an independent release, so um, not everyone's gonna have it. I believe in the East Coast, you got East Coast. You guys already have it, bitches. For us here in America, in California, I was like that, West not Coast. America. I know. Uh, <laughs> East Coast, but, you're not American. Uh, USA, for, bitches. For those in the West Coast, we're gonna get it December 16th. All right, cool. All right, AJ. All right, another music news. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> right, right. Japan. In Japan only, though, unfortunately. Uh, Sony Music is publishing the uh, Mother original soundtrack oh, on vinyl. That's Mo- sick. Mother, a.k.a. Earthbound. Uh, is my jam going to be on there? Enjoy your stay? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Let's see, because I have the list here. Uh, I do not see that here. Ooh. Um, I guess it's oh, for the original what? Mother. Yeah, isn't I, it like... I, I played Mother too. Huh? Yeah, I think oh, yeah, so. You're right, you're right. Uh, Pollyanna... Uh, Being Friends, The Paradise Line, uh, Ma- Magicant? Magicant, Yeah, Wisdom of the World, yeah, Flying Man, Snowman, okay, you yeah, got Flying Man and Snowman, uh, All That I Needed was you, uh, Fallen, Love, and, that's the name of the track, that's funny, Eight, <laughs> Eight Melodies is another name of the track, and then The World of Mother, Extended Virgin, so those are all the tracks that are going to be on that, if you know any of those, that's what you got to expect. I don't know any of those. Uh, but yeah, I think it's coming out this Christmas, actually, in Japan. So if you're in Japan, go pick that shit up. I, You know, I heard there's this new service, forgot what it's called, where uh, people can kind of uh, note where they're going to be traveling to, and anyone who wants to buy something from that country uh, can request that they go and pick up something for them in that country. Hmm. So maybe you can do that on that list. I forgot the name of the app, some program out there. But anyways... Look out for that, That's especially if cool. like vinyl, if you have a little vinyl collection like I'm trying to do. Damn, that reminds me. Remember when we were kids, we had the Star Wars vinyl. Like it was two, two fucking, uh, two vinyls. And I had to remember which one it was that played the one I liked. I was like, "Fuck, I like these songs." <laughs> like, which one was it? It's like, you gotta try it once. Like, ah, fuck. Yeah, because you check both sides <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck, it's the other vinyl." You know what I mean? Like, fuck. I'm wasting I'm, a lot of time right now. Like, I never messed with vinyls when I was a kid, um, and not until like you know recently. But, I mean, it's been easy to figure out because you just read the back of the paper box thingy and it says, okay, this side, this two, or side B, okay, perfect. And then you got to look. Right. Yeah. Then you got to do some reading. You know, back then, it was kind of hard because we couldn't read and shit. I, I get you. I see what your problem was. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back-to-back news real quick. Um, I'm going to tell you two things. First thing. Apparently, uh, there's been a lot of hype on the Sony side because of the success of the, Speaking of Sony. Of the Nintendo Switch, there's been a lot of hype for them. <laughs> Uh, and a lot of people have been thinking, like, hey, when are we going to get a PSP again? I guess apparently that's something people, people have been talking about. And uh, there's been, like, some leaks about schematics for some some system or some item that they're working on for PlayStation. People are like, oh, look, PSP, they're making a new one, they're making a new one, right? Uh, so this is the sad news. The head, One of the heads of PlayStation Vita came out mm-hmm. and responded to all of these comments and um, tw- tweets and stuff like that, and they're like, we really love the support and everyone likes it, but we are not working on a new PlayStation Portable. Like, there's no plans right now for that. Yeah. We're not, and they said we're not saying it's off the table, but we're honestly not even considering that right now. Everyone's really like pushing the development, but we're not even considering it right now. Yeah, because the Vita was the last one, and it didn't do as good. I mean, it did okay. Not as good as the PSP. But not as good as the PSP. Yeah. yeah. And then of course, this Nintendo just owns the handheld market, so. They didn't stand a, a second chance. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nintendo's always been the boss of that shit. Yeah, so. The Vita, I didn't even pick it up. Like, I, I picked up the Me PSP, either. but Me the either. Vita, I didn't touch it. I was close to getting it just because uh, MVC 3 was on it, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I was going to play that on handheld, but it just never happened. Low and key, then, low key, it was a little bit too late. Like, when it came out, I feel like it went away almost like just as fast because I was in the same boat as you. I was thinking about getting it for a good year. Yeah. When I kind of thought about really doing it, they said that they weren't going to be making any more shit for it. And I was like, oh, well, okay, I'm not going to get it. That was just recently, too, honestly. I think we just waited too long because I was like the same way. Like, I'll, I'll get it when something good comes out, but nothing good was ever announced that I was interested in. Mm. So that's why I never picked it up. Only two things I would have gotten on it would have been that Marvel's The Capcom and Luminous because I know there was a Luminous. Darkstalkers. There, no Darkstalkers. Nothing came out for it. Ah, we yeah. PSP had Darkstalkers, though. It had Tekken. That fucking blew my mind when Tekken came out for the PSP. That was sick. I had Guilty Gear on that shit. G- fucking Grand Theft Auto was on it, too. Guilty Gear was pretty PSP, sick PSP, fucking Par Rapper, the rapper came out on that shit, too. I, I have so many PSP games. Not, not a lot, but I have a lot of good shit, though. I love Darkstalkers. Shit that I would have played. I had it. But yeah, Darkstalkers was fucking dope. 
think he needs to bring stock stock seconds back though, for reals. All right. Um, yeah. other news. Okay. Uh, for me, Toys R Us apparently has reemerged. I heard that supposedly there's a store. There's a in a, New York or in somewhere on the East Coast, uh, New or Jersey. Chicago, oh, New, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. So the Toys R Us store has reappeared in New Jersey. Um, very carrying very similar brands to what it used to carry. Uh, you know they have all the major tour lines that you would think. You know, but um, it, it's it's not quite what you would imagine because all of us know that last year notoriously uh, Toys R Us went famously out of business. Yeah. They went down in flames. It was a big deal. Yeah. Uh, but you know, so here's the here's the catch to this thing happening. Uh, on top of them having a store, they also have an online store. You can go here. Kids can even try out the toys before they buy them. They have a whole section for you to try out the toys before you buy them now. In the store or online? In, in the store. Okay, I was going to say, what? That's like some virtual shit if it's online, right? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so apparently uh, that's happening. Okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> apparently, Toys R Us doesn't own anything it's selling. How's that work? It seems like they're just a conduit marketplace. And they charge people for putting their shit in there. Isn't that how it normally works, though? No, no, no. Because before, things would have Toys R Us stamps. There'd be toys that are made by Toys R Us. This time, it's no. It's all licensing. So they don't own anything. And before, they would buy it so that it would be their property. Toy, th- toy, toy, I don't think Toys R Us ever made their own shit, but I know they got no, they like did. exclusive rights to certain things. Now, they had Toys R Us toys. There's Toys R Us kids' toys, like you know, like cars and little things like that. Oh, like made. little cheap things or something like that, I guess. Yeah, but all that's gone. Now, like, it's, and before, like, they would basically buy the items Mm -hmm. off of them, and they belong to Toys R Us now, and then they sell them, Yeah. but that's not the case anymore. They're basically renting out a spot for people to sell their stuff under the guise of Toys R Us. Okay. So it's not technically Toys R Us. Even when you try to buy anything online from Toys R Us, they say powered by Target. (laughs) <laughs> Target is funding this whole thing. So. You know what's crazy? So also on Black Friday, I, I bought a TV off Amazon because it was a good price. And then when it got to me, it on the when I opened the box, on the back of it, it said Best Buy on the back of the TV. And I was like, what the fuck? The TV itself? The TV itself on the back said Best Buy. What does that mean? I think, at like, same thing like you're just saying. Like, it was on Amazon. Like, you can buy it on Amazon. But it came from Best Buy, I think, is what happened. So it's a licensing deal. Yeah, like, or something weird. like that. I don't know. I, that, that was weird. So something similar, I guess. Yeah, very, Toys R Us. Very much. That's very weird. But I'm not, I'm not surprised at this new uh, method they have of selling toys because that's what they should have done in some way originally because that's how stores work. Like, they, they, like they don't – a lot of – sometimes some stores will make their own shit and you have those in-house brands. So if there's a brand you've never seen at any other store but one, that one store, it's because it's their in-house brand. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, usually everything else, though, is, you know, from Mattel, you know, or from freaking, I don't know, Hasbro or whatever. Does Mattel even still exist? And shit like that. Um, <laughs> and I think how it works is that the, the company or the store is supposed to buy the merchandise and then be able to sell it. So that's when you see shit goes on sale is because they can't sell the shit they bought. And now it's got to just try to make up any, like, little pennies they get. Uh, Wags tried to sell some toys at one point. He bought a whole box of Hasbro shirt for a while, mm-hmm. um, but the margin on that shit was very low. So, yeah, yeah, and and you have to have people flocking to your shit to even make the sales, right? So. Yeah, exactly. Um, but this new method looks sounds interesting. So, I mean, they didn't buy anything straight out; they're just using that store as a place to sell shit. Okay, that's cool. As long as they, you know, get something off it. I don't know. Is this gonna is this store gonna stick around too, or is this like a pop up, or is it like a it's, permanent store? It seems like a pop up, but we don't know yet. Uh. But it seems like a pop up. It's probably a holiday thing. Oh, well, that's funny. This uh, this headline on this picture here says Target wants to save Toys R Us, at least online. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, powered by Target online. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> so Target's just using their name to sell the toys part of it. That's interesting. Anyways, I don't know. I'm so worried about the toy industry now. Like it's either Target now. Like, GameStop has some cool shit. I was at GameStop today, dude, and they have some fucking action figures. You know how there's that uh, tw- uh, Ninja Turtle and Batman crossover? Yeah. There's actual figures for that shit. Oh wow! And it's like there's there's a, a, a double box set. You'll get like one Batman character, one Ninja Turtle character. Damn. So it was like Leonardo with with Batman, Ra's al Ghul with like uh, Shredder. Um, oh shit! Yeah, it was Raphael with like Robin and Batgirl with dope. Donnie. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was like, what? They're all like 50 bucks each, though. I was like, fuck, what? I don't have 150 to spend right now. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I know. Fuck. Um, and I also saw this other cool little thing, uh, the original like uh, 80s uh, Ninja Turtles figure. 
like just uh, the four turtles in one box set, which looked pretty cool. I didn't see the price on that one though. But uh, GameStop has some pretty cool toys, and that's pretty much your thing right now because the game market isn't doing that well at GameStop right now. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Is there your last piece of news there? Uh, me? Uh, no. My last piece of news is talking about... Oh, yeah, Super Mario Maker. So Super Mario Maker uh, has an update that's coming out, I think, today. And uh, if you can uh, look at this picture, you can kind of tell what's new in the update. Uh, for one, this little dude, the screen dude with the fucking spike ball, he, he's a, a, a I remember that fucker. He's from Mario. He's from Mario... Uh, like 3, two. I think. He used to blow the thing up and then throw it at you and shit. Yeah, fuck that. No, he's more from 3. He, he's in 3. Like, he'll hold that fucking spike ball and he'll yeah, just throw it at you. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Yeah. I remember him. So, yeah, he's there and you, you can do all types of crazy stuff with him. Also, the, uh, you know, the cactus things from Super Mario World? Yeah. Those are a thing now you can use in Mario Maker now, so you can put them up there. But you can also do crazy shit like give them wings uh, and let them fly around and shit. Uh, and they, they can chase you and all that. I think if you put him in a, in a night stage... They'll fly around. Like, rather than just be a cactus moving slowly, they'll fucking fly around. Um, what the fuck? And, yeah, there's some other crazy shit going on. But also, there's a new power-up. It's the Master Sword. And if you grab the Master Sword, you become Link. What? Yeah. And you can, uh, you know, you can do the, the sword stuff. You can toss bombs and explode walls. Um, you have a bow and arrow, too. So there's, like, a, some coins you can't reach. You can shoot the arrow, and you can actually hit the coins and collect Sounds those good coins dope. like that. And you can aim that arrow, too. So you can aim it upwards and downwards, too. That's new. <laughs> yeah, that's all fucking brand new mechanics for, for the game uh, with Link that you could do there. So that, that's a new thing that, that uh, you can do. There's also, like, some uh, freeze blocks uh, that you can do. Now, there's a, there's a bunch of new just mechanics you can work with now, too. So that new update, I believe, comes out today. Uh, there's also like a speedrun thing. Uh, Ninji Speedrunner is what it's called. Uh, remember that little uh, star black ninja looking dude in Super Mario World in Bowser's Castle? Yeah. Like, like he'll like he just be in the shadows sometimes? Yeah. Uh, he has this thing now in the game. Uh, it's a speedrun game um, that is Nintendo made uh, levels, and then they'll, they'll let you play those levels, and you can speedrun the game. So all the speedrunners out there can try this out. Nintendo made speedrun uh, levels, and you can get your ranks up there and all that. So that's a new thing coming out for Super Mario Maker 2 as well, which that's is dope. a game I want to get. I'm down for some Mario Maker because I had fun with it on the Wii U, um, so maybe I'll get that someday. I still never tried it. No, it's pretty fun. There's some great People get fucking crazy, though, with some of their shit, and that shit's just kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, and there's, like, all these little mechanics that I've never learned from, like, uh, the uh, the new Super Mario Bros. stuff. Um, that I was like getting lost on, and it's like, oh, if you don't know this one little trick that you're doing in this game, then you can't get out of this level. Um, but other than that, it's pretty fun. All right. But yeah, check that out if you have uh, Mario Maker. Okay. All right, you ready for this final epic piece of news? Okay. All right. Evangelion. Evangelion movie four, fourth <clears throat> impact. Wait, is this the f- final movie that we've been waiting for? Fucking finally. Finally. When's it coming summer, out? 2022? Summer 2020. Oh, 2020. Oh, oh shit. Okay, yeah, sooner than re- I expected. It's real. It's coming. Oh, snaps. Yeah, man. What so, is going on with this picture, though? Um, that's Have just, we seen this? That's from the original trailer they posted uh, when 3.0 was over. So that's from that trailer. From I, I got to watch those movies again. I don't remember a damn thing. It, it literally, it's not like you can remember them either. That shit was just so confusing. Yeah, it was. But that literally happened at the very end in the end credits. Like a little clip of 4.0. You know, before oh, 4.0 wow. was official. That's right, yeah. They showed that Unit 2 and Unit whatever this is. Unit 4, four or 5, 6. One of those fuckers are going to be combined together to be like some unstoppable. Some like something that's going to combat other things. And we don't even know what those other things are. And um, yeah. Yeah. So, the fuck, tech, tech skater out of nowhere. It's called 3.0 plus 0.1. I was getting oh, to 1. it. 0. I was getting you bitch. to it. Of course, it'll be this fucker. <laughs> anyway, finally, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. finally, this is happening. And finally, they, I guess they put a little 10 minute uh, trailer out in Japan. Whoa, like, 10 minutes? Shit. Yeah, I'll show you 10 minutes of the of the movie or whatever. Um, yeah, but uh, that was only at this Tokyo Expo thing, uh, which we didn't get to see here. Uh, but America, yeah, it, it is happening. It's really, it's real, and it's coming, and uh, and it's gonna be summer twenty twenty. But so it's called Evangelion three point oh plus one point oh. Evangelion three point oh plus one point oh, and That's I don't crazy. know why it's called why? like that. I don't fucking know. 
over. That just fucking fucks with your mind even more. That's what it's called for now. I don't know. I feel like it's going to end up being called something else, but we'll see. No, I think it's called that. It might be. They're weird as fuck. Because this fool came over the internet from wherever he was in Texas and shit. No, I knew. I mean, that's... Just to say this shit to us. That's the news. I mean, that's the, <laughs> that was the article news, but I don't think that's what it's going to be called. I feel like they're going to change it again. I think it's going to be called that. They like to be fucking weird and shit. They do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called that. Could be right. Which I'm cool with. I'm not mad at that. It just... I just... I like that it adds to the confusion. But it's confusing. Anyways, that sounds dope. I got to go watch those other ones now. Again, because I don't remember a damn thing. All right, my throat's hurting. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it for the news. <laughs> I'm like losing my voice over here. Is it because the weather change fucking you up? Or I guess so. Sick? I don't know. I, 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 think I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's a weather I was change. just sick like three weeks ago. I don't want to be sick again. Shit. It's got to be the weather change. I'm probably fucked yeah. up today, too. But, uh, all right. Yeah, I know. All day today, I've been like runny nose and stuff. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same, bro. And my throat's hurting right now. Like, I haven't even been talking at all. I don't know. All right. Uh, what do you got planned for your focus week? Uh, hopefully being able to talk. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Legend of Korra, like I was talking about a couple weeks ago, I got the second one, and I haven't even read the first one yet with Kuvira and shit coming back. So I I, I want to read these. I've been like carrying this around with me in my backpack like for the last couple weeks, and I haven't even gotten around to it. That and my Sonic. So I got to read that shit. Um, also, I'm going to do some uh, Christmas sewing and shit, you know. Um, what else do I got planned? More so caliber, more just learning shit. I'm wondering if I should go and actually learn uh, and actually get down and dirty with um, uh, Shang Wa. Um, Cause I, I I fucked around with Shang Wa for a little bit and learned a little something. That's it. You should. I mean, why not? The more characters you know, the better. Like, I have a third character, you know. The more in depth information you know about the character, the better you. But then be. again, I don't see Shang Wa a lot. In but tournaments, anyways. That's probably why people will start picking her because she's rare. Like I don't know. I think you should be ready for the rare characters. I feel like those are the ones that go really far in fucking tournaments because nobody sees oh, them. I was playing Soul Calibur last weekend and I ranked up a lot uh, because I I got like uh, matched up with these. Uh, who was it? It was a Shang Wild player, and uh, who was the other one? It was someone else that was like I was a, a, as a character I wasn't used to. I think it was Tira, um, and I was just fucking them up because they weren't doing that great at anything. Uh, so I was just getting like points all over on, on them. <laughs> it was a good time. But <laughs> I, I ranked up to like I was an E, and I finally made it to D. Um, so did that. Anyways, want to bring that up. But yeah, doing more of that shit. Uh, play some Tekken. I want to get more into Tekken. I keep saying that. I really want to dig deep into like Julia because every time I go and play Tekken, I'm just fucking lost because I haven't played in forever. So I really need to go and do that. Um, I think that's about all I got planned. Oh yeah, also that's another thing I did today. I didn't even talk about uh, the Steam Link. So I have a TV, like I mentioned earlier, right? It's in my room now, and I had the Steam Link that I've been waiting to hook up to some TV somewhere. So I hooked it up in my room on my TV. So what that means I can stream any game from my computer onto my TV over there. It's a little bit laggy though because it's going over Wi-Fi. I figured it would have to be. Right? Uh, but I played R Type <clears throat> over it, and it was working out pretty good. Uh, but I can tell those little moments where it would like kind of like uh, glitch a little bit. Yeah. Because I'll be moving and I'll just be kind of frozen for a second and I'll skip over ahead. I'll like, okay, that's one of those moments where it drops some frames and all that. But I mean, it's it's kind of workable. Uh, also, the quality like drops a little bit sometimes when the connection is not good. Uh, so the, it looks kind of ugly. But man, fucking R type is so fucking ridiculous, man. Just going through that game. That's a tough game. I like that game. Yeah, I like it too, but I was dying so many times. <laughs> there, there's this infinite mode where as you play, if you died, the game doesn't reset you from the beginning. It just, you new ship comes in and you just keep on going, right? But you downgrade in, in your uh, power-ups every time you die. And I was, just, I, I was just, I went the whole one, I think it was like stage four. I went all of stage four just dying. I'd come through, shoot some shit, I'll die. Come back in, shoot some shit, die. I was like, fuck. And then like, by the end of the boss, uh, I had no power-ups. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, I think the in the game I, I had to be I think I needed power ups to beat that uh that boss at the end too because there's this one point I had to shoot and there's no way for me to shoot it unless I was shooting backwards or something like that but I, I didn't have any power up to shoot backwards I think the game just gave it to me afterwards cause I was just dodging the boss forever and then all of a sudden he just disappeared and it's like oh you won I was like okay I, can, yeah. I think the game just gave in <laughs> yeah, you know what you're you're good you're yeah good, man. <laughs> you survived you're good <laughs> anyways what you got plan. Uh, oh, well, I saw the whole Wu-Tang uh, TV show that was on Hulu. It was amazing. It's called Wu-Tang American Story. Yeah. And there's a documentary that goes with it uh, with the real Wu-Tang members, so I'm probably going to watch that. Oh, cool. Um, also, what else? 
I oh yeah, I started watching Titans. I saw the first two episodes of season two, so I'm gonna continue watching that. And then yeah, wasn't there something about that shit being canceled? No, it got continued. They got greenlit for season three. Oh. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> the DC Plus streaming service is going to be canceled, I think, at some point. No, oh, I think that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I think we talked about that already. Yeah, I think they're just going to move it over to HBO Max. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. More Soul Calibur. So, Been enjoying it, so. For sure. Yeah, I'm focused, bitches. All right, we out. I'll see you next time. All right. Oh, my bad. Wrong fucking button. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks and I forgot how to do the show. There it is. <laughs> Don't forget, this is a Collision 28 production. We're live on twitch.tv slash collision28 every Thursday. Also, uh, you can always catch us on youtube.com slash unfocusedpodcast to uh, see rebroadcasting of these episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe there as well. Also, uh, Twitter, uh, you can message us at unfocus 28 uh, we also give you updates when the show starts. Instagram at Unfocus Podcast. Uh, subscribe, you know, like. Uh, also, uh, you can subscribe to uh, our podcast show, the audio version, on Apple Podcasts. Or just get more information about that on Collision28.com. Or if you have any comments or things you want us to talk about or maybe things that you feel we missed in the past, email us on unfocuspodcast at gmail.com.